is going to be um, some fresh scents and some very woody scents. So, if you'll recall last video, I looked at uh, and tried out um, this one, Amir Al Oud. So not an exact dupe, but in the same sort of wheelhouse as they call it. So people said you want to you want a dupe. I have just the thing. So this was recommended to me. A mere factory edition. Campfire. This is meant to be a pretty close dupe to replica by the fireplace. I've smelled by the fireplace. I had it on like a little paper thing. I don't, I mean, the scent is gone now, but I have a decently good memory um, of what it smelled like. So I'm going to see if this is similar and compare it to Amir Al Oud. So let me just get the cellophane off. that we'll be looking at today. Most of them I got from fragrancebuy.ca and I have to say they came packaged really, really nicely. They had packing peanuts and it was well sealed and I even got a little sample which was so cute. Um, compared to some other places, it was very well packaged. It did say well, they kind of said that there were fragrances inside on the box, which is a little concerning because of porch pilot, porch pirates, porch pirates, porch pirates. Yeah, so that was my only concern. Otherwise, it was very well packaged. It looked very, very nice. Anyway, on to Amir. I think this is um, Paris Corner. It's like the brand. And then Amir the Factory edition campfire that's like the sub sub brand I don't know anyways Paris corner Amir factory edition campfire is it a good dupe of um, by the fireplace and is it very similar or very different from Amir Al Oud Sorry. 
already tell, however, that they are very different. Obviously, still uh, sort of in the same, like I said, wheelhouse, but this campfire, that sweetness and smokiness that, as I recall, I felt Amir al Oud was missing.
So yeah, I'm definitely getting that citrus first and foremost. That lime and that pear, a little bit of the pear, but mostly 
told that this is something I would really like, not by the same person who suggested Siren, because we all know they were very much mistaken about <laughs> the kinds of things I like. So, anyways, um, I was told this one would be very much up my alley and a good layering scent as well, and that it was formulated by somebody, oh no, gosh, I can't remember, but apparently the person who formulated it, it is well known now, and maybe the person that started the the, the fragrance house that does um, Baccarat Rouge 540. Anyways, let's try it out. There's like a cutout in the box and you can feel the, um, like half of the leaf, you can feel the, and see the bottle underneath. I can already smell it through the box. Oh, it smells divine. was fighting me, it wouldn't open. So, here we are. Elizabeth Arden Green Tea. The flower is actually the flower, the leaf. The leaf is on the back. Very 90s plastic cap. sprayed that on my hand. Oh, I can already smell it. So, the, um, the notes are lemon, bergamot, mint, orange peel, rhubarb, jasmine, oak moss, fennel, musk, carnation, white ember, green tea. Finally, green tea. It's in those bottom notes that last the whole time. Jasmine, uh, oak moss again. Musk, celery seeds, caraway, cloves, and ember. Oh, it's such a pretty scent, but it smells like the 90s, probably because I smelled this on people in the 90s. I think someone in my family actually used to, or a close relative, I mean, anyways, someone I know used to wear this. It's one of those scent memory things. This actually does vaguely remind me of an MFK fragrance that recently came out and that I tried. Um, what was it? Aqua Media. Vaguely, though, Aqua Media is definitely crisper. It's got some water cords, I think. Um, that smells very much like citrus peel. This has some of that citrus, has some of that citrus peel, but it also has, I think it's the caraway seeds, like, and the bitterness of the green tea. There's there's bitteriness, but also something powdery, soapy as well. It definitely smells mature, but fresh at the same time, which can be very difficult to do. I can tell it doesn't have a lot of lasting power, but very few freshy, citrusy scents do. That's just kind of the nature of those accords and those fragrances I find. I find it.
enjoyed the video, if you did, consider liking and subscribing for more. If you have any suggestions for me for fragrances I should try or be on the lookout for, by all means, let me know. I'm always interested. I hope if you use this for sleep, you are now soundly asleep and dreaming of magnolia fields. And if you're still